Hi friends, welcome to the iPhone Assistive Touch Review. First, let me show you how to activate it. Tap on Settings, General, Accessibility, Assistive Touch. Tap the on-off switch and the digital home button, the Assistive Touch menu button appears on your screen. You can place it where it suits you best. I leave it in the bottom right corner for now. Tap it and the Assistive Touch main menu pops up. I'll return first to the home screen. Now I'll call Siri before I open the device branch which includes Rotate screen, mute, more, volume down, volume up and lock screen. If I lock screen I need to slide first to unlock. I won't use the Touch ID because I won't use the home button at all during this tutorial to prove that it can be totally replaced by the assistive touch feature. I'm opening the iPhoneTricks.org website to demonstrate another feature which is found in the Favorites menu branch. Here you can pre-record gestures that are activated by a simple tap. For example, the scroll motion, perform the gesture and assign a name. Ok, let's do another one to be clear. I'll name this one Flick Down. Now it's time to explore the last uncover menu branch which is Device More. I'll pick multitasking to return to Safari and now I'll select the gesture via favorites. First, the scroll. Tap or click the gesture button if you use a third party accessory like mouse mover and the pre recorded gesture is activated. And here is how to use the flick down gesture. You can open notification center or the spotlight search. That's about all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit iphonetricks.org for more info on this and many other iPhone related subjects.